Today I'm going to walk you through a brand new feature coming out of Sudorite. I'm a little bit late to this because I was traveling, but this is an important update for Sudorite. They are still putting out new features out there. And I know a lot of you probably are wondering why I'm still talking about Sudorite. I actually do believe in Sudorite. I think they have some really good stuff, even though there are other tools, particularly Novel Crafter, that I think have come out and really done a better job at some things. There are other things that Sudorite is better at. One of the things that Dave Chenson, my mentor, taught me is that there's no such thing as the perfect tool for everybody. Everyone's going to have a tool that works better for them in their process. And in this case, Sudorite, I believe, is better at actually helping authors that really don't want to worry so much about prompting and everything. They just want something that's simple and easy to work with. And that's what Sudorite excels at. And they just added this new feature that I think is really helpful. So if we go here into Sudorite, this is one of my old projects. This is the Omnimancer, which I was working on for a little while, then abandoned. For those of you who have been following the channel for a while, you'll remember this. And I, you know, I've been getting a little bit uh, itchy to maybe try to rewrite it uh, with all of the AI know-how that I have now and, and uh, access to different tools. So if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments. But the new feature that we have is a form of chat. Uh, one of the things that I always tell people is that the best combination between an AI, one of the things that I often say is that the best ideal situation in my book, if, if you want to write a book with AI, is to have a tool that is specifically geared for actually writing the book. So a tool like Sudorite or Novel Crafter would fill that boat. And then having a separate chat bot of which right now there are really three of them that are useful. There's ChatGPT+, Plus, Claude Pro, and Gemini Advanced. They're all kind of reasonably equally skilled as far as their ability to work as a chat bot and to go back and forth and brainstorm and do all of those things. I find the best scenario is to have one of those and then one of the other tools. That said, Novel Crafter does have a chat feature built in if you can only go with one. And now Sudorite has a similar feature built in as well. So let's go and see how it works. They're calling it the quick edit or quit chat. If you highlight a section, so just let's highlight this paragraph here. You'll notice here in the toolbar, it now says quick edit. So you can either click on this or you can do control or command K, depending on whether you're a PC or a Mac. And it will pull up this bar right here. It'll say quick edit here or quick chat, whatever you want. And then you'll also notice over here, there's a little toggle here for higher quality for more complex tasks. And if you select this, it interestingly says it uses credits. So my guess is that what they are doing here under the hood is that if you don't have this toggle on, it's using one of the really cheap open source models that are, you know, they're very cheap. And so you're not going to be using up your pseudo write credits by using this. However, if you use the higher quality, it's probably switching to a GPT or Claude model. My guess would be GPT-4, maybe even GPT-3.5. I don't know. They haven't confided in that to me. But basically, if you turn on this higher quality, it will start using the credits that you have that you're paying for. So you, you got to be careful not to overuse those or you might run out of credits for the month. Thankfully, the, you do get plenty of credits, but you just got to watch that basically. So let's com compare and contrast what this might look like with or without the higher quality toggle on. Let's start with it off. And we've got this paragraph, the air felt thick with heat as the fissure's walls seemed to close in around me. I'm gonna say quick edit. We're just gonna do a expand this text to show, don't tell, from Lyra's deep point of view. Okay, we're gonna do something like that and hit edit. Okay, and it gave us a, a little bit of an expansion here. The oppressive heat wrapped around me like a suffocating cloak. And I also am going to come down to my story Bible information here to make sure that my style, I've set it here to first person past point of view. So we're gonna, so that was probably just me experimenting in the past. So we're gonna say first, third person limited past point of view of Lyra. This actually brings up an important point that one of the great things about quick edit and quick chat 
is that it actually has the context of your story Bible information. So if you, you know, as long as you've got this little toggle here on for your story Bible, uh, it's going to be able to read all of that information and understand it. And that's useful because that means that unlike ChatGPT or Claude, you don't have to like copy and paste all of that information over to those chatbots. It just sort of naturally has that context already. So let's go ahead and try this again. Re-expand this text to show, don't tell, using deep point of view from Lyra. All right, let's give that a shot. All right, and now we have something from deep point of view. This actually looks pretty good overall. So yeah, I'm okay with that. So we could just hit accept, or you could do control or command enter to accept it or escape to reject. You could also do follow up instructions, etc. And now you have this. You'll notice those of you familiar with Novel Crafter, this is very similar to the way Novel Crafter works with its inline features. One thing it is missing is a way to write in an inline feature. And that's actually a feature I've talked to one of the developers and I have requested this feature so that you could, you know, just come to the end of this and instead of like writing out a beat, you could just do like a slash command or the control K command and then just ask it to write in line. That's something, I don't know why they didn't just lead with that, but they, they didn't. But there is at least this ability to edit or to chat now. But before we go any further, I wanna make sure we are actually testing this with the the higher quality version. See if it actually is higher quality for one thing. I'm gonna read through the pros and see if I think it's better than what it did before. But let's try this again. So I've got the same edit prompt here. We're gonna click this for higher quality, hit edit. All right, so we've got that here. It's, it's not bad as well, but it actually, is I can almost I can definitely tell this is almost certainly GPT-4 that it's using here. It's very over the top and such. And just given this, I would, I actually I think I preferred the pros of the the free one. Um, so that's just a you know a quick tip there. Unless you're not able to get access out of the the supposed lesser quality version. I would say you don't even need to leave this this toggle on. The the lesser quality version was fine. Um, I'm I'm okay with it. So now let's take a look at quick chat because I have mentioned several times that I think it is important to have a chat bot uh, available. And now Sudorite has one just in here and it can understand just all of the context, not just of your story Bible, but also the sections that you are writing. So let's go, let's say to the end of this chapter and select this section here. And then actually let's select a larger section. So it has more context, hit quick edit. And instead of that, we're gonna to switch to quick chat. I'm not going to turn the toggle on for higher quality yet, but let's say, give me 10, give me five ideas for where this scene could go next. I'm just gonna copy this chat because we're going to use it again with the higher quality and see how it does. So with that in mind, just hit go and and it took a little while to get here, but it did give me five ideas. So we got, how about having Lyra face an unexpected setback while trying to hone her connection with Elric, which forces her to dig deeper into her ability and uncover hidden strengths she never knew she had. Maybe introduce a twist where Nyx Evanvale discovers Lyra's plan to save Elric and tries to sabotage their efforts. So yeah, this is okay. Consider adding a moment of eternal conflict for Lyra. Yeah, these these aren't too, ba too bad as far as like, ideas to get unstuck and you can of course chat with this in all kinds of different ways but this is this is fine so if we exit out of here one thing that i'm not certain of and maybe i am just missing it is i'm not sure where that prompt just went if i ever wanted to reference that again where would it go and i may be missing that but if if that's not available that's that's a little concerning i would want to make sure that that is around somewhere and yeah champ generator history maybe nope that's not what i need all right so yeah that's that's something that at the very least they need to work with their ui to make that a little bit more obvious and easier to find those chats that you've done because you might want to reference those chats again in the future so if you're using this and you get a good chat make sure you copy it down somewhere so that you have access to it all right, let's try it again, but this time we're gonna select quick chat and turn the higher quality toggle on. 
and paste in the exact same prompt here. Give me five ideas for where the scene could go next and let it go. All right, so it's giving me five answers here. Again, this does feel like it's written by GBT4, but I do think looking through these that these are slightly more relevant to the text that I had. That said, the, the ones I got with the free version are good. And so basically, like I would say, start with that first. Often all the authors need is just uh, something to bounce off of to get them unstuck. Uh, you might not use any of these things verbatim, but just looking through them, reading through them, it gives you enough ideas that you, you realize what you do want to do. And so you can take it from there. And so, yeah, that, that's something I would just keep in mind. You can, of course, follow up with questions about this and say, like, I like option two. Give me variations of that option. You know, it can go ahead and keep chatting for you. And yep, here we go. It's pulling in a bunch of stuff. And the nice thing about this is that it is pulling from your story Bible. And so it can give things with the right context. I am a little concerned about like not being able to find these anywhere else. And also I can't even see. So this was, uh, I was drawing off of the previous chat and now it, I can't even find that previous chat. It's gone to this second one here. So I'm not really sure about these chats, if there's a good place to find them or not, that would be something I would want to make sure Sudorite is aware of so that they can fix. If it is available somewhere, then at least they need to work on their design to make that easier to find. Uh, other than that, I think this is a nifty, cool feature. They are still rolling out things. I'm actually in beta for a couple of upcoming options for Sudorite that I will eventually talk to you about. They are still doing some good stuff. They are moving forward and you know, I love competition between Sudorite and other tools out there or any tools really, because competition means that people aren't going to stagnate. Frankly, before Novel Crafter came around, Sudorite was not pushing out as many updates as they are now. They're definitely working on things now. And that's a good thing for us, the people actually using these tools, because we are the ones that actually win when competition happens, because it causes uh, this really great innovation, which is what we're seeing just in AI in general between Google and Microsoft and OpenAI and Anthropic and all these tools. Competition is a good thing. So definitely I want Sudorite to succeed. I want Novel Crafters to succeed. I want all of it. So with that said, I do have a specific process that I like to use for myself. And if you want to know how that is and actually have me walk you through the process of writing, not just a full book, but a short story and getting you to also create a email list and everything. I would invite you to join my membership, which is right here. I've got lots of information, more information about AI, lots of cool free deep freebies, including a fine tune model that you can actually use yourself. But most importantly, I have this success path right here that you see, which allows you to go through the process of actually setting up an author business using AI and other tools to create your books, to create your email list, to self-publish the book, everything that you need. So if that is interesting to you, this is going to be gone in less than a week. I'm going to be closing down this membership again. And so if you want to get in on this and, you know, there's frankly tons of other things that I haven't even mentioned here, like the podcast and the building a business with me section, lots of cool stuff here. If you're interested in joining in on that and getting in with a huge community now of like-minded authors and really support each other and get a lot of the, the benefits of that, definitely go check us out. I'll have a link down below where you can get this. And uh, also, of course, a link to get Sudorite if you don't have that yet and you're curious. And I uh, will see you in the next video.